everyone, welcome back to Honeydale Farm. I'm Honeywell, and let's go say hi to Sebastian. Hey, Sebastian, I do want coffee. How did you know? Sorry about that. Um, here, have sister see me. Not you, him. Um, I've taken to carrying around sashimi in my uh, backpack uh, because Sebastian is uh, pretty moody. Um, he loses a couple hearts <laughs> every few days, um, so he he needs lots of care and attention. Uh, I've actually it hasn't happened again, so I can't experiment. Um, the Reddit forum said it was a bug, but I've been noticing, I think, a pattern. Um, that he loses two hearts every time he asks if we want to have a baby and I say no. <laughs> so how's that for realistic? <laughs> uh, so if, you're, if your spouse randomly loses hearts, uh, uh, look to see if it's uh, coinciding with uh, requests for children. Um, I've been uh, busy working away. We already had, we had our shipping collection achievement a long time ago. We're down to the last fish. The glacier fish is the winter legendary. Um, our artifacts are still pathetic. Uh, 12 ancient seeds though, yeah? Um, yeah, I just, I've been working, I started out the month working on this. I went to uh, fish on lucky days. I've gone to the mines, um, and it's just not happening, so. So I switched my attention to things that I could actually, could accomplish, um, like fishing, cooking, and the craft every item. So today, if today is a perfect day, um, this one is a guarantee. The last recipe that we need, we're gonna learn on the TV this morning. Uh, so we're gonna get the Gourmet Chef Achievement. I only have two. Well, let's uh, let's get started instead of me just uh, sitting here rambling. First things first, coffee. And look at this, crab cakes. That's new, right? Uh, the crab cakes last the whole day, so I've been using those instead of pepper poppers. Of course, it's gonna snow. Annoyed. That's all right. Greetings. This week's dish, dish, bruschetta. You'll need bread, tomato, and oil. And we have all of the ingredients. Um, for anyone who's been following along from the beginning, that ingredient list that I that I I put together from the wiki and put up on in the comments, uh, that's a good list. I was able to cook absolutely everything with that list. Woo! New achievement, gourmet chef. Yay! So let's look at it. I have no idea which one it was, but there was four, and now there's only three stars we need. Master Angler, complete museum collection. Not gonna happen during this Let's Play. And Craftmaster. With the crafting achievement, um, I have been plugging away at it. Uh, crafting every ridiculous useless item that I did not want but had to do and I'm down to the last two items um, I'm using an external external uh, website Mousy Pounds came up with like a, uh, a save file a reader kind of thing and you can just uh, browse to your save file and it'll give you like a, a, a list of every everything that you need to to do like fish to catch, ingredients to cook. Uh, it's really nice. I wish I had known about it from the beginning of this playthrough. Um, the last thing I need to craft, though, is the warrior ring. And I don't have enough frozen tears for that. And the slime egg press. And I don't have the fire of quartz. How many frozen tears do I have? Seven. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take care of the chores this morning and then I thought we would uh, go to Clint's crack open our geodes to see if we get any of those minerals 
and then hit up the mine uh, for the three frozen tears and the fire quartz we need if we don't get them from our geodes. So that will be fun, right? Um, come here, Vicky. Dinky, how you doing, Dinky? I've been, I've been taking care of the animals every day. No, uh, no slacking off and just leaving them uh, locked up and not taking care of them. And then once we get to, depending on uh, how the trip to the mine goes, uh, then hopefully we'll have time to to work on catching the the legend. Now people say, um, from what I've read, people said that it um, it was one of the harder fishes to catch, and just by looking at the um, wiki and the difficulty of the fish, it's in line with um, the legend. And that took us uh, more than a few tries to get. So uh, if the day goes perfect, we'll be coming home with a legend too. If the day doesn't go perfect, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will, uh, will, will commiserate with me. Okay. And let's get to, okay, so we have seven and we need 10. Along with that achievement, I'm glad I started it, um, started it when I did. When I first, when I first, the winter first approached, what I was doing was, um, on, Lucky days, I was uh, taking luff, luck buffs, going fishing for treasure chests, and all kinds of stuff like that. I uh, was going into the mines, digging for artifacts, um, checking every day for worms. And honestly, I think it was, it was just like a waste of time. I think I found maybe two artifacts putting in all of that effort so uh so yeah I knocked that off and started uh concentrating on achievements that I could that I could finish like the craft every item achievement and it was a good thing I did because one of the one of the tricksy achievements or items is uh garlic oil and you actually need 10 cloves of garlic to craft that and I didn't have those um, so I had like a couple cloves in the refrigerator for ingredients I put the them in the seed maker made some seeds dug up some of my star fruit planted them in the greenhouse until I got 10 so <laughs> uh, so I'm glad I did start that another thing that I put absolutely zero preparation into for the craft every item sort of thing. I just assumed I'd have the materials on hand. Uh, but I, but again, I didn't have the garlic. I had to farm fiber in order to craft everything. I needed, I spent like two days getting earth crystals in the mine because you needed 10 earth crystals for a ring. So earth crystals, frozen tears, 10 garlic, a fire quartz. Those were things that I needed to uh, to scrounge up. So I've been working on this for for a few Stardew Valley days. I don't know why I'm cracking these open because nothing that I need can be found in these rocks. Um, Omni geodes can have anything. The basalt we need can only be found in magma geodes and omni geodes. But the frozen tears can be in the frozen ones, and the fire quartz can be in the omni. 
but I don't think they can be in these regular ones. Oh, you know what? I'm wasting a perfectly good opportunity to be drinking my coffee. Thanks, Clint. Yay! That's what we need. We need a fire quartz. So we can make the slime egg press now. And now we just need three frozen tears to finish our crafting achievement. It looks like we're headed to the mines. What do you mean I don't have enough room? You can have those, 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 those. I don't need those anymore. Looks good. Yes, please, process fields. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So now we need two frozen tears. Two frozen tears. sell that yeah okay let's uh, go right to the mine two frozen tears um I want that I think I told you that I maxed out everybody's friendship right I've been, uh, I was giving the dwarf, uh, stuff every day. Let's get all this stuff off my toolbar, though. Um, frozen tears are, yeah. They're on the frozen levels, obviously, and the dust mites drop them. And since we have our burglar ring, um... We might, we might be do better killing dust sprites trying to look for these tears. Mm. Thanks for the loot. Hey guy, drop a tear, would you? And the reason why we don't have uh, frozen tears, um, mm -hmm. we can blame Sebastian for that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because uh, frozen tears are a loved gift of his, and uh, so I've been giving him frozen tears. So my advice is if you uh, if you marry Sebastian, give him give him sashimi. Um, can you dig them up? I don't remember. Yeah, we're not doing that. Let's go. Let's just stick to the floors with elevators. So, let's do 55. I guess we're not going to be lucky. You're making me cry, game. Have a tear for me? No, no tear. Seventy-five. Is that still frozen? Tear? No, no tear. We need skeletons. Let's just kill them. Oh, there's a tear. Nice. Come here, tear. You're mine. I think they might be in these boxes too. Uh, 
some coffee. Okay, so we need one more. One more. There's our geode. We're not gonna run back to Clint's though. That'd be foolish, right? like the old days. Okay, let's uh let's rinse and repeat. Aren't you guys glad I brought you back for this stuff? Nice. Oh, and our last frozen tier. Awesome. Let's uh let's get home. I am not even going to tell you how many times I've uh, went to do something. You click on the return scepter, click on the screen to do something. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and accidentally uh, click back home again. I've done that many a time. Okay, we need... Oh, we don't have much iron. Uh... Did the slime egg press take iron? Let's see, we need the warrior's ring. 10 frozen tears. We got those, mom. Okay. And these, these aren't really, uh, occasionally infuses the wearer with warrior energy. So it makes you, you go a little bit faster for a short bit of speed after you kill monsters. And then we need the garlic, garlic, no, the slime egg press. Uh, what do I need for that? A battery? A battery and, and what, more coal? I can't remember. Yay, new achievement, craft master, that's right. Sweet. So the only thing we have left is a complete achievement and Master Angler. Catch every fish. Um, where are we going to put this? I think I'm just going to shove this slime press in, in the cave for now. Because I really don't know what to do with it. Oh, something else that... Uh, remember when I went on that coffee making spree? Um, I didn't save any coffee seeds. <laughs> like, I, I only had a couple, like, odd seeds left over. So I actually uh, planted up one of those when I was planting the garlic. Um, I planted up a coffee, a coffee plant in the greenhouse, too. Good, good. And we'll uh, shove this ring in my project's chest down here. And what do we need? A hundred slime to make a slime egg? Um, slime eggs are actually uh, pretty valuable. I think they're like one. They take a hundred slime and they sell for, I think, one to five K. Um, so it's worthwhile, even if you don't want to breed slimes, just to, uh, did we say hi to Holly this morning? No, we didn't, I don't think. Hey, Holly. So it's worthwhile just to, uh, should we just put it back here? Yeah, let's just do that. So we'll put the slime in, and uh, I think it takes a day, I'm not sure. I've never made one of those, or 
done anything with it, but yeah. Okay, and now, 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 now. The only thing we have left to do is, is catch the legendary. Let's go guys. Um, let's get our dish of the sea, which gives us plus three fishing and a slightly bigger um, fishing bar. And uh, we can't fish without our lucky sailor's cap. It's fresh and starchy. Ooh, she looks the part now, right? And let's get trap bobbers. Um, do we need all this? I don't think we do. Let's just drop all this off and we'll keep our pan. Maybe we'll see those. Okay, trap bobbers, dish of the sea. Looks good. Do we have a tackle in here? No, we do not. Let's craft one up. Let's go legend hunting. I expect this to be uh, to be painful, if I'm perfectly honest. <laughs> it's painful and a little embarrassing. I'm not even going to pick those up. I've been doing a pretty good... I started out scouring the map every single day for artifacts and uh that got old real quick because it takes almost the entire day uh, but i have been keeping up on this um i want to say it was uh ben fx from the chucklefish forums um said that he was all ready for winter that he chopped down all of the trees so he could see the I bypassed the fish spot. So he could see the artifact spots. Uh, and I thought that was a good idea. So I went ahead and did that. And there were there were artifact spots hiding behind the trees. So it was a good idea. It, I didn't get anything but like clay and seeds <laughs> when I did that. Um, but, but it was a good idea. So if you're... Uh, if you're in the same predicament and looking for uh, looking for artifacts, chop down your trees because there could be uh, things hiding behind them. Thanks, Brim. Brim. Oh no, I was drinking coffee. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I tried so hard to. <laughs> oh, the defeat. That had like 100% of my attention. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a long night, guys. It's going to be a long night. Three casts in a row, though. Oh, I forgot my fishing buff. Let's uh, let's eat our fishing buff because uh, we need it. <laughs> this is hard. This one is hard. I can see why people say this was the hardest one for them. we get lots more um this link card here you can catch him without without all this stuff oh 
I'm expecting this fish to move and it's just not. I can't believe we uh we had like three tries right in a row of that fish and uh we lost them all. On you tricksy fish. Oh. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch this one. I guess we're just gonna have to keep doing it until we're lucky. Yay! Yay! How fast it look, it's only eight o'clock! That is amazing. Uh, yes, please. Wow. Yeah. That's it. We're done. Our work here is done. Uh. That went so good. So yeah, definitely uh, plus fish food and uh, trap bobbers. I like Dish of the Sea because it gives uh, it's cheap ingredients and it gives you plus three fishing. So the only thing left we have over here is a complete collection. And we've been working on our monster slayer quests. Let's, um, let's check out the hat mouse. Um, these are tied to your achievements, so this one, 15k, lucky bow, cool cap, bowler hat, sombrero, butterfly bow, mouse ears, cat ears, <laughs> uh, Santa hat, let's, uh, let's do the Santa hat. We, we no longer need the lucky fishing cap, tis the season. Not very cute, um, but yeah. Santa hats generally aren't. Uh, earmuffs, delicate bow, plum sharpoo, archer's cap, tropical... Mesh in the back to keep your head cool. <laughs> Gnome's cap. This gnome had a very large head. Eye patch, watermelon band... Uh, chicken mask. You'll be sure to get get them grinning with this one. Okay. Chicken mask. Goblin mask. Oh. Freak out the neighborhood with this creepy mask. Rubber ear joints for effect. That's that's great. That one's kind of disappointing, honestly. Yes. Let's put the Santa hat on. And I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Um, Miss Daisy, I'm going to put you in this mouse's stall. Let's get up to the Adventurer's Guild. Um, they close at 10. Okay, let's just leave all this fish in our inventory too. It's fine. It's fine! And we have a uh, another mystic stone there, which means there's probably a prismatic shard and maybe some iridium. Oh, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> Two to ten. Oh man, I wanted to see the uh, where we were at with the monsters.
That stinks. Uh... Oh, I don't have my sword. <laughs> We're going home, guys. Well, that was a fail all the way around. I left the horse with the mouse. Um, I guess I'll I'll get ready for uh for tomorrow. Crab cakes. Crab cakes. Uh, got the coffee. Sebastian needs a, some sashimi. Yeah, that's good. Let's stick those hats in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff yet. Seeds go in here. I think... Um... Five of those. Oh, we should have went to look for artifacts, but we left the horse, of course. Crocuses, crystal fruit. Craft up some more winter seeds. I have to put one more thing away. Looks good. Um, I also picked up the last rare crow, so we have the, the full collection. Four of eight, two of eight, so we have all eight rare crows. Today was the last day um, to plant to plant these seeds without deluxe speed grow. Um, what I've just been doing though is uh, is wherever they they kind of uh, grow back in. Oh well, I didn't bother um, hoeing back up the ground. Uh, just once I did that. I think this last time. Because like I said, I was too busy. Um, here's our coffee plant. Our cheat trees that we chopped down are coming in nicely. Let's go look at our slime egg. And again, still doing these mushroom seeds. Uh, just in the hopes for ancient seeds. Okay, yeah, I guess we're going to go to bed early, because, uh, because, yeah. We'll go to bed early, see if, uh, Willie sent us anything in the mail. And another art artifact we don't need. And uh, we'll call that a day. I can't believe it. We did all three achievements. I thought for sure that uh, this would last two days. Aww. Hi, Honeywell. Good to see you. It's comforting when you're around. I think I feel more like his mother. <laughs> it's good to see you. I'm coming to bed. Go to sleep for the night. Uh, some gold? And another beautiful day. Oh, by the way, remember how I said that I was hoping for like um, 10 million for this farm? It's um, more like 
um, at least 16, I don't know, maybe 16, at the bare minimum, it's like 16 and a half million this farm is going to make. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little bigger than, <laughs> it's a little more profitable than I was going for. Yay, dear Honeywell, your angling skills surpass even the old poppies. I'm impressed. This star drop's been passed down from Willie Sr. to Willie Jr. from, oh, heck, probably a thousand years. <laughs> I'm going to eat this thousand-year-old thing. It's perfectly safe. Seeing as I don't have any kids, I want you to have it. Aw, who am I going to give my star drops to? Woo! Six out of seven, guys. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of strawberries. Your maximum energy level has increased. Uh, so now we're 474 energy. And the last star drop you get, seven out of seven is for a complete museum collection. So, uh, yeah. How are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I sent you. <laughs> so cute. That Emily, I tell you. We'll sell that. And I guess, uh, I guess we'll end it here. Uh, nothing exciting is gonna happen. What's gonna happen is I'm going to, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, let's go see our egg, too. I'm going to, uh, take care of the crops. Replant them for the last time. get our coffee beans. Oh, we should go see our slime egg, right? Let's go do that. And then the Adventurer's Guild. So we can see what we need for that. Okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep you guys for a little bit longer. Don't go. Oh, we don't have an egg. This is disappointing. I was, uh, you know, We didn't give, we didn't give Sebastian his sashimi. Oh, we didn't kiss him either. I know, I know you love it. Okay, I guess, uh, I guess you guys are staying with me, whether you want to or not. Don't anybody leave. Uh, go say hi to the animals like you do. And there must be, there's still something, uh, there's still something funky with the, um, with the animal coating. Um, because these animals have been giving me iridium quality, uh, produce all winter long. Uh, I think it has something to do with the, the barn doors open and that six o'clock thing. So if anyone is trying for for large produce for the community center or whatever, uh, close the barn door, go to bed, And uh, I bet you'll get it. There's still something weird the way the mechanics of this works. Um, iridium quality eggs uh, still still aren't worth that much, but iridium quality milk uh, is usually worth, if not as much, more than the cheese. Um, so you'll I sell the iridium quality milk outright. Mm -hmm. Let's get to planting. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to go to the Adventures Guild. Okay, we'll, um, we'll plant up this field. 
And the reason why we're planting these is for money, uh, which I've actually used the crystal fruit in my kegs because I ran out of star fruit. Um, with the with digging up part of the star fruit in the greenhouse for ancient fruit, uh, for garlic, and then just the additional uh, like 50-ish kegs that we craft, crafted up um, in anticipating doing the, the ancient fruit. We have more kegs than we can process with our with the star fruit. Okay, but now let's uh, let's head up to the let's go to the adventurers guild, and you can see uh, see where we're at with those quests. Yep, junk. Whoop, in your stable. It's very nice. You know what, before we go, let's, um, it's been, it's been a couple days since I've been to the desert. Oh no, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> that was weird, yeah? There's a worm. Maybe we'll get lucky and get like a an awesome artifact to end the episode. Yeah. This is like a don't need that one. There's I think there's only one relic that I, I think I need like a palm leaf or something from here. Trixie tree grew back. Facts for us. Let's go. If you use your return scepter um, while you're in Calico Desert, you can't go back to the desert because Pam will still be uh, will still be there. So it kind of bugs it out. So uh, I suggest not if you're going to go back. Squarry. Let's see how we the uh, where we're at with our For some reason I thought it opened at twelve. Uh other things that I've done to besides chopping down the trees, I also there was a few areas where there was still debris. Um up here at the train cent uh center and oh look it has presents. I never saw that before. Aww. How cool was that? I wonder if, uh, if presents would have fell off the tree. Uh, the train. I cleaned up the debris around here just to give worms the most chance to spawn. As a well, as around, uh, Joja Mart. There was a, a ton of crap around there, too. Hey, Linus, this is your favorite, I know. Here. Or is it coconut he likes? I think it might be coconut. This is wonderful. You really made my day special. You're welcome. Now let's go see to the Adventurer's Guild. So yeah, uh... Artifact hunting and monster killing is, uh... Are the achievements that are left on this. Let's see how we've done. 
Slimes. We completed our slimes. We completed the cave insects and the duggies. These I did the other day. So we need uh, 81 void spirits. Oh no, not 81 void spirits. I don't know, like 40? Wait, 50, 60, 70? 30 bats? Oh, we're almost done with the skeletons. And we did this, so we did a lot of these. We did, we have the slimes, the cave insects, the duggies, and the dust sprites, and we just need uh, void spirits, bats, and skeletons. It's a, here's our rewards. The slime charber ring, uh, the insect head, and a hard hat. Cool. Okay, so that's what I'm going to uh, be working on, along with uh, taking care of the farm, putting in our last uh, harvest of winter seeds. I'm going to go around and uh, look for artifacts, kill some monsters, and I will see you guys in, I don't know, about seven Stardew Valley days time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll come back for the last one. Bye-bye!